Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Reviews. So, so guys, today I'm going to be doing a ASOS New Rock Dupe pair of shoes. <clears throat> so guys, I have been trying to get my hands on New Rocks from TK Maxx for about three to four weeks. Let's just say I've given up, quite happily given up. And um, I did go on to, I think it was Kwai Footwear that Emily Boo mentioned about her. I think it was Kwai Footwear. Yeah, it was Kwai Footwear. Um, I did go on there and I didn't mind them, but I, I actually seen somebody else um, called Amy, which is the owner from, uh, from Rebel Soul, Amy. And she had a pair on her feet and I was like, where did you get them from Amy because they are sweet really sweet and she did say that she got them from ASOS and I was like well I'm always on ASOS searching for like sale shoes, Lamoda shoes, ASOS shoes, truffle shoes, anything that's quite chunky my kind of footwear and comfortable so I went straight on there and I for the life of me I couldn't find them and then she gave me the number and I typed that in and there they were. I was like, yes, no, they only had a size six and a size four left. So I did message Amy and she said they did run up big. So in my head I thought, well, six will do then if they run up big and if they're not, I'll just have to send them back. So I went back the next day to buy them, not thinking that these are in complete demand and sold out they only had a size four left and i was like oh i felt really disappointed really gutted and i think maybe a week maybe a week and a half maybe two weeks had passed and decided to go back on asos and have a look what they've got in not that i need any more shoes guys i just look and if if i like them and i can afford them i'll buy them nine times out of ten i don't so i went back on typed in truffle shoes and all the truffle shoes came up and boom they were there again I was like oh yes Do -do 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 -do. size seven completely forgot that Amy said they run up big I could have just got the six but rushing I got a size seven it took about three to four days to get here guys I must admit the box was like all squashed and they were all like bulging out and I was like well, I don't think I'll be using that box again because I can't fit the shoes in. Now, guys, I've got to tell you that I have had these here for about two weeks and I have done something to the boots. So they're going to look slightly different because I've done my own little DIY stamp on there <clears throat> because I like doing that. And they were very plain, so I thought, go on. So you will notice something different. So, guys... Bad luck to put shoes on the table, so I'll put them on the box on the table. So these are the Truffle Chunky Black Shoes. New Rock Dupes. I've got to call these New Rock Dupes because I just think they're amazing. They're not exactly a dupe as in like quite footwears look pretty similar to the New Rocks. These are more, more chunky, more bulky. But they don't weigh hardly anything, guys. These are light as anything. So they tie up like so. As you can see, these was plain black. I have stuck a pentacle, pentagram, whatever you want to call it, on the tongue. Just to give it a little bit of whatever you want to give it. I just thought it looked a little bit gothic. I am thinking of putting some chains going from each hook across. And I think Jane will approve because I get all these ideas from Jane Wilkes. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> she inspires me to change things. So they cost like five pound in total. So as you can see, they have a really massive tongue that sits on the outside, guys. So they just tie across here, but I've been tying them underneath. So when you lift the tongue, you can tie it here. Now I don't know what this little bit of material was here because it looks as if it's just been chopped i was a little bit confused by it guys because there's an elasticated bit at the bottom but this is gone like i don't understand this bit unless it was there and that's what kept the shoes tight because these are really really like loose so they just stay open quite wide and they kind of fall off my feet a little bit so i think i will need to like wear my bed socks with them which i'm quite happy about because i have really bad circulation so 
wearing big thick socks is probably the best thing let me take the other one out guys i can get rid of this horrible box so these are by truffle guys by truffle from asos so they're not asos own brand they're actually truffle now i do own a fair 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 few bit of truffle shoes um a lot of my truffle shoes are based around sandals and boots but i just thought these were amazing for the price i mean if you look at them together they're just i just love them they're just chunky and i like chunky and if you look at the bottom they're quite flat tracked but they're quite solid guys i just i don't want to put them on the table because i really don't want any bad luck but how beautiful are them now obviously i don't know if the the sticker i've put on is going to last on there i could do a stick and a little bit more glue underneath because the tongue obviously curves slightly and when it curves it lifts off a little bit so i am going to put a little bit more glue underneath this just to make sure it stays on secure and it don't fall off but obviously without that on it was just a plain black tongue now the laces i'm never really a fan of these laces but for this type of footwear i'm quite happy to leave that lace on there um i have not worn these yet guys so i have tried them on and walked around the house in them and they was very very big so I may put them on with a really big thick pair of socks and see how they feel. If they feel comfortable enough, I'm quite happy to get these on and get out and start wearing them. I've been wearing my um, ASOS, the boots from ASOS, which I've also stuck one of these on there on the side. And they're quite chunky as well. I find that chunky boots, when you've got a severe back disability like mine, does, does actually help. I'm not too sure about on, on weight, but these don't weigh anything. So they're chunky and they're light. Um, I just like my ankles to be quite secure around boots. I don't find them as secure with these boots, but I'm just really puzzled by that piece of material that looks like it's been cut. I may ask Amy if hers was the same, because to me, it it just I just don't understand what it's there for unless it's it's a design flaw I don't know but it's it's clear that that used to be attached as one but there's no stretch in it guys it is literally just a bit of material so very confused by that but I like these guys for twenty eight pound worth every penny and you get to see what they look like on and I absolutely love them so I don't know. What, last time i looked guys which was about four days ago they were out of stock again so all sold out i can imagine everybody's wearing these truffle boots at the minute i think truffles probably um struck gold when they did these so that is them guys before i wrap this up i also would like to show an item so recently i sent some um friend mail to a lovely friend of mine that i've been finding she's inspiring me to do a little bit more on the DIY front I still haven't managed to do my um, my plimsolls in the way that she did hers but I have started decorating some of my plain black shoes with pentagrams pentacles bats anything like that chain and as you have seen on um, I have started doing like my picture frames and all that is to is to do with watching Jane Wilkes and and kind of getting an idea of what I can do if I put my mind to it. So with that said, I decided to send a little bit of friend mail. Now, I did say Jane did a video a long, long, long time ago about the eyelashes and she mentioned the brand of them. And when I went into one of my shops, I seen them there and I messaged her and I said, are these the eyelashes? She said, yes. I said, I'll buy them here and I'll send them here. And I sent her some friend mail and I don't think she was expecting that but it's what I do, I didn't want anything back and I did say to her, you don't need to do me anything, but she said, please let me just make you something, if anything, and I said, okay, that's fine. So she did make me something and I absolutely love it and now I can take it out of the packaging and actually put it on my jacket, I'm so excited. And she's put to Rachel and she put, I really hope you like this brooch and think of me when you wear it, Jane. I was like, oh, I love it. I just, I just love it. Things like this, I just treasure and I, we all know why we treasure things like this and I will absolutely treasure this, what she's done. So she wrapped it in tissue paper, guys, well wrapped up. And then she wrapped it again in my most favorite color, which 
very observant, she knows. And guys, she made me the most amazing, amazing brooch. And I absolutely love it. So guys, this is the brooch that Jane Wilkes has made. And I showed my husband and he was just like, that is really, really good. Jane, you've actually inspired me to probably do something like this for myself and maybe just sell a few. Because if Jane isn't doing this already, girl, you should, because this is lovely. So on this, there's tiny little gems that she's put on there. Um, I've not got my glasses on, so I can't see thoroughly. Let me just put my glasses on. My eyes are so bad. Now, obviously it's on this really huge, unusual pin. I kind of like this pin. It's not your, your norm. And then she's got a little bat on there. She's got a little cross on there. Then there's this little bauble with stars inside it, which I think is really cute. A little key. Um, I love the little key. And then she's got like a little owl on there with a gem on, some little gems. I absolutely love this. And there's a skull on there. So Jane is well aware that I love skulls. There's a cat. There's a moon. There's this beautiful little embroidery. I'm going to bring it closer to you to see. There's a little leaf on there and there's a little diamond. I think this is absolutely amazing. And obviously I've just bought my denim jacket. There's actually a wing as well. Look at that. And this little spiral things on there as well. Jane, this is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. So you get to see it in two different angles. So that is from the amazing Jane Wilts. If you've not gone and checked Jane out, I will link her channel down below. If you love seeing DIY and really amazing makeup, she's brilliant at her makeup. I love her ideas. I love her energy. And um, she's an elder goth. And she, she teaches me a thing or two how to dress. I tell you that. I, I You know, I wish... I wish everybody was like that as they got older. She's she's amazing. Uh, I love Jane to bits. She's brilliant. So thank you for this, Jane. I wouldn't put it on my jumper, but it's going on my denim jacket for life. I love this. And if somebody says, where'd you get it from? I'll just say, um, I can give you her link. Find her on um, um, YouTube. <laughs> there you go. You might get some customers, Jane. All right, guys. That is my lovely um, gift from Jane and my ASOS truffle boots take care guys bye for now don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel take care guys and i'll see you on my next one bye for now